la construcción de 17 ecoestufas, 12 ecohornos y 20 filtros, en el cual le estamos ayudando al medio ambiente. Eh, los beneficiarios se sienten muy contentos con lo que es la ecoestufa y los ecohornos porque tienen una reducción de leña eh, con los filtros, pues han dicho que tienen una reducción de enfermedades estomacales y bueno, se sienten muy contentos y nosotros igual porque también fue muy fue muy divertido compartir con, con entre voluntarios las construcciones. Hubo momentos que nos dividimos el, los grupos y cada grupo tenía un líder y, y fue rotación. Y pues nos sentimos muy contentos porque fue una experiencia muy divertida y también fue un gusto servir a la comunidad. stoves, two eco ovens and 20 water filters. These have been well received by the community. The eco stove means that the beneficiaries now collect less wood, which is better for deforestation and also saves them a lot of time. The water filters mean they have cleaner water to drink from and it was a great experience not only for the beneficiaries but also for us. We got to know the community, we got to work in smaller groups and get to know our team better and overall construction. hemos hecho múltiples eventos para crear conciencia de nuestro objetivo. Hemos sensibilizado a la comunidad con dos charlas del cambio climático y también recolección de basura, donde duró la, hasta la una y media. Asistieron nueve mujeres, cuatro chicas y tres chicos. La charla del cambio climático fue por una hora en la comunidad, donde asistieron ocho mujeres y un hombre. Charla para crear conciencia de asumir pro y competencia de baile que duró tres horas. 17 mujeres y 13 hombres. Una charla de cualidad de género el día de la niña que duró cuatro horas. Donde asistieron 13 mujeres, 12 varones, 15 chicas y 6 chicos. Y una charla sobre el reciclaje para elaborar un mural juntamente con su madre. Ha sido una experiencia muy bonita todo esto, este tiempo, estas semanas que hemos compartido con nuestros compañeros. Ha sido éxito para la comunidad. Hemos obtenido varios proyectos donde la comunidad ha apoyado y eso es bueno. 
Damos gracias también a Somos Pro y a Progreso por habernos permitido tener este programa donde apoyó mucho a la comunidad. Since arriving in La Gracia, we've hosted multiple events to raise awareness of our project's objectives. So we've hosted two climate change events to raise awareness. One was the litter pick event, and it lasted one and a half hours. There was nine women, four girls, and three boys who attended. And that was so that we could do like a little talk on recycling, etc. We also had a separate one hour talk on climate change exclusively, and that was for the whole community. Eight women and one man attended. We then hosted an event to raise awareness of Asamut Pro's objectives. It was a dance competition and it targeted the whole community and that was specifically done because we wanted the widest participation possible and 17 women attended and 13 men and that was one of our most successful events. And um, we've also had we also had a gender equality event and that was when we oh no, sorry, yeah, the festivities for the day of the girl child and we had like a sports day, a drawing competition, etc. And we had like that lasted for four hours. Thirteen women t attended, twelve men, fifteen girls, six boys. That was like our first event that we did. It was a massive success and we managed to also raise awareness of stuff outside of Asamut Pro and our climate change objectives being gender equality and then we had the mural that we did most recently and that was ex-volunteers, current volunteers, Sonati did a talk on recycling. Uh, we're just here to talk. I'm with Marcia. Um, Hola. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, training sessions that we've had over here. Um, so since we started, we've had 11 hours of training with um, with Asimuco and Sonati combined. Uh, we've had three and a half hours on eco stoves, eco ovens, and water filters, um, as well as one more on Asimuco and their main aims and objectives. Uh, we've also had um, four hours from Sonati, which they came one day and uh, gave us on their aims and objectives and on what they uh, would show us about the mural. Uh, we then had three further training sessions that we gave um, on eco stoves, eco ovens and water filters. Um, and then we had another separate hour um, on climate change, so that totaled to 11 hours. Hola, buenas tardes. Yo le voy a hablar un poco de lo que hemos hecho durante el proyecto de nuestra comunidad de Parcila. Hemos tenido 11 horas de entrenamiento, tres sesiones de aprendizaje, cocina, horno, filtro y capacitación con Asumupro sobre objetivos y metas sobre el cambio climático. Cuatro horas de entrenamiento con Sonati, objetivos y metas y cambio climático y trabajo que hicimos juntos con el mural. Tres horas de capacitación para, la, para los beneficiarios de Ecoestufa, Ecohorno, y sobre el manejo y mantenimiento que los beneficiarios deben de dar a, a estas infraestructuras. Muchas gracias. Hola, soy Gavin. Y soy Nikki. Y somos Manny. Y vamos a estar hablando con ustedes sobre investigación de acción. Ok, así que hicimos cinco diferentes tipos de surveys. La primera fue un filtro de agua de agua. Uh, which picked the beneficiaries for the water filters we're going to get out in Agresia. Also, an Azimut Pro Awareness Survey was carried out to assess how well known the association was to the community of Legresia. From our results, it appears that the community of Legresia are aware of their work, and even more so recently, from the events we have presented, such as Girl Child Day and the Climate Change Talks. We also did an end-of-cycle survey in Legresia, which covered the end-of-cycle part of as a move for awareness. Um, it also covered the general knowledge um, to do with like ICBs and in-country placement people and what we've done. Um, it covered eco stoves, eco ovens and water filters, although not all of them could be completely completed successfully due to when the, uh, when the benefits were delivered. Um, and in order to interview and collect information regarding the work of past volunteers, um, and their continued involvement within Azimut Pro, we put on a football tournament for girls and boys to participate in. It was a successful turnout and we were able to interview past volunteers that provided thorough and helpful answers. 
finally, we completed an end of cycle survey in Parcilla to measure the impact of the last four cycles along with the odd thing we've done this cycle here. Uh, this covered asthma for awareness, uh, the same general questions. Um, it covered water filters, eco stoves, peelers, fruit trees, and patios, as well as long and short term sustainability. Thanks for hearing our action research, thank you. I mean, no. <laughs>
fue muy bonito estar con todos. Hi, I'm going to tell you about all the fun complimentary activities we've run this placement in Barcelona. Today we had our last activity, which was a fantastic event with the community on responsible consumption. Isn't that fun? We had a talk and a round table with a bunch of people from the community. It was really fun. Um, also, we've done hikes, we've been to waterfalls, we've tripped, we've caught ourselves, it's been amazing. We've had dinner nights, we've run the veritable culinary gamut from the very English egg and chips to curries and pastas and quesadillas. It's been fantastic, everyone. We've had movie nights with the community. We had a horror movie night for Halloween. We've watched Chucky, that's a fantastic film. And we ran a Halloween treasure hunt with children from the community. We did a secret Santa yesterday. Everybody got lovely presents. We were all very happy and very friends with each other. We've had birthday parties, we rock up into empty dark houses and we dance and we eat scorpion ice cream. We've had two fantastic leaving parties to celebrate our departure from Priscilla and the Grecia. Members of the team, both Britt and Nika, have gotten up, shaken their stuff, given us a few songs and generally embarrassed themselves. Um, as well as lovely children from the community. We had a beautiful choir of children from Priscilla singing in English that would melt your heart if you saw it. 